Governor Jeff Landry says he's going to make sure resources are placed strategically around the state to make sure you're safe during and then after the storm. Gabriela Mercurio joins us from GOSEP to tell us what they have prepared. We're just hours away from the storm making landfall and Governor Landry says they're finishing up preparations around the state and you should be doing the same. It's crunch time for Governor Jeff Landry and other state agencies to make sure their storm plans are in place before nightfall. We are pre-positioning assets uh, so that they will be available to the public on a needed basis. Assets like the Louisiana National Guard. They're deploying across the coastal parishes with meals, water and tarps, and that's not all. We have 87 boats, 387 high water vehicles and over 50 helicopters to uh, to work the, what we think is the most probable mission post storm, which would be search and rescue. The Louisiana Public Service Commission says they also have crews on standby for post storm help with power outages. We have about 7,500 additional crewmen, including linemen and vegetation management personnel, ready and waiting to assess the storm damage and then respond as soon as they are safely able to do so. And as you're wrapping up buying any storm essentials and topping off your gas tanks, the Attorney General's office reminds you to watch out for big price hikes. Price gouging is illegal and we can we are monitoring that we will enforce the law and we will make sure that no one is taken advantage of during the storm. One way you can now report price gouging is through the get a game plan app but Governor Landry says the app has a variety of resources for you before during and after severe weather. Disaster recovery assistance, DOT information such as road closures, evacuation plans, weather information, as I said earlier, an emergency preparedness guide. The governor will continue to give out any updates from now until after the storm passes. But of course, you can get up to date information anytime over on the WFB 9 News app and our first alert weather app. The governor also plans to have another press conference tomorrow night at GOSEP. Gabriela Mercurio, WAFB 9 News.